क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स I welcome you all to this video. We are with the second topic from the radar engineering chapter 15 of microwave engineering. So in this chapter for radar engineering, in the previous topic we have been just introduction to what exactly the radars are. So I hope it is very clear that the radar, the acronym stands for the radio detection and ranging. The purpose or the work of this radar is to gather the information from the several of the objects into the nearby by having the electromagnetic signal transmitted into the space and catch its reflected components so from the reflected components the information is extracted in the terms of range angle and that of the velocity of the target here so we shall be adding certain more information by taking this topic that is block diagram so let us go into the details so here we start with our topic the topic is titled block diagram of simple radar so i hope from the previous video the introduction to the radar it is very very clear that radar that it is standing for the radio detection and ranging it has to transmit the electromagnetic wave so the electromagnetic wave if it is of the order of the frequency values 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz it will be a microwave so in general we can say if a microwave is transmitted by the transmitting antenna of the radar and the object that will be there where the in incident of the microwave signal will be there there it is a sudden change in terms of the conductivity permittivity and permeability is a case of boundary condition we can say so a part of the incident power is absorbed and another part is reflected back here so from this reflected information we can get the detection of the target there hence the name radio detection and ranging here so the information is in the terms of range angle and that of the velocity so for such a simple type of the radar let us have first of all visualization of the block diagram here so here this is the block diagram so we have the radar display transmitter receiver so basically the components of the radar system are first of all it is very very essential to have the transmitter so let us say this is the first very important component with the help of which we can give the transmitting antenna the second most important thing to have the radiation of the electromagnetic signal or in general the microwave signal to be in the nearby space here so if there it is certain object or the target moving in the nearby space for the region of this particular radiation there it will be the reflection of the waves from it so here there it is the use of another antenna in this simple radar system that is called as the receiving antenna here which will receive the signal it will process it further and give it as input to the radar display here so one is the transmitter section second here we take transmitting antenna the third important thing we take it to be the receiving antenna the next to that here we have the fourth one to be the receiving section and the fifth block is of the radar display here so for the radio detection and ranging we require these five components to be available transmitter receiver radar display and the transmitting and receiving antennas here so now the transmitter is basically radiating the electromagnetic wave or the microwave in general we can say in the frequency range 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz so now for the microwave if you go for the higher order values of the frequency that time the corresponding echo produce due to the reflection will be a very clear one giving us the accurate information here the transmitter section for generation of this microwave signal is most possibly making the use of 
magnetrons. So we have addressed the magnetrons to be the microwave oscillators generating microwave signal by having the electron focused from cathode to that of the anode or the plate terminal we can say and the magnetic field existed to be in cross coupled orientation here. So it is M type of the microwave tubes here magnetrons responsible for generation of the signal which is reflected back and these are the various components in the simple type of the radar here. Now next to this simple type of the radar here we have an improvement to it. So now from the radar where we had the two separate antennas to work as transmitting antenna and receiving antenna we can use for the duplexer case here. So for the duplexer case the same antenna can be working as transmitting as well as the receiving antenna and the operation of transmission and reception is totally isolated from each other. So here instead of having the display radar display we have been named this particular block indicator this is one and the same here. Now here T sub x x represent the transmitter section T r sub x x represent the receiver section. So earlier what we had represented the transmitter section to be of the important block next to that it was the antenna transmitting antenna. So now we have only one antenna here. So using the duplexer system this is the second component the third component will be the receiver and fourth component indicator or the radar display. So the number of components have been reduced from 5 to that of the 4 by using the duplexer technique here. So here it is the synchronizing signal from the transmitter and the receiver section. So on to the display here the indication with respect to the dimensions of the object the distance from the source station, the angle up to the height, how heighted or at what particular elevation level that target is having a motion. So that motion velocity is also detected here. So this is the radar cross section that has been incidented and receiving the reflected waves with the help of the duplexer antenna working as both transmission and receiving here. So the target may be either in motion or it may be a fixed to one place. So all that information can be extracted from this. So I hope these two block diagrams have given you the sufficient details to get introduced to what exactly the radar, their simple operation is concerned. By the next lecture, we shall be addressing the classification corresponding to the radar systems and move further in the chapter radar engineering to conclude the subject microwave engineering. So more, more such information and the details if you like to have you can subscribe to EKEDA channel. Thank you.